Hans, define God. Is it a man in the sky? Is it a light? Is it a being? Is it is, is it the sum? Is it the sum of all love? Right. What is your definition and visually? Maybe all of it. I go. I go very much by by uh, what Christ mentioned earlier. The Christ, um, the the prodigal son story. When we sort of when he spoke about the father who let his son go, give him the free will into the world and lose himself, and then the son finally decides to return back to the father. He says, I'd rather be a servant in my father's uh, estate than, than staying here in, in, in this world. And then, of course, he returns to father, opens him with, with open arms, and uh, welcomes in, and great feast, and, and, and new clothes, or whatever. And that image which Christ gave to us is for us to understand in our three-dimensional reality. It is very simple, very straightforward. God is seven dimensional. It is impossible for us to really comprehend anything close to it. Right. And the closest thing Christ said is use him as a father figure, a real loving father figure, not this condemning one <clears throat> of the Old Testament, but the real love, a love presentation of love. And um, uh, I also believe it is a form of personification, I would say, uh, who is also the creator. But it is a seven-dimensional entity, and I try not to put any image, because I can't put images on right. it. But for me, the simple images which Christ has given us through the Father is the one I can connect with. <clears throat> this gives me the inroad to a dimension which is at the moment beyond my comprehension.